Independence, the Midwest's number one independent computer repair company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, Des Moines, and across the country via the Schrock Desk. This is Compute This. Good morning, folks, and welcome into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company, where we fix computers. We sell new computers, a lot of new computers lately. Apparently, we're the only place in town where you can buy a computer. Um, well, not, I, I say that a little tongue-in-cheek with qualifiers. Like, if you don't want to spend over $1,000 on a computer, we're the, we're the only place in town you can buy a computer right now in stock. Uh, we'll go into that in, later in the show here. But uh, uh, we have four locations to help you out when your computer is on the fritz. I want to, uh, first of all, address uh, the weather in Des Moines was way worse than it was in uh, the cities with our other Nebraska service centers. Um, so we actually ended up closing Des Moines on Friday an hour early uh, so our employees could get home. You know, none of them drive four-wheel drive vehicles, so we wanted to make sure that they could get home. Um, and then, of course, on Saturday, they couldn't get in. And so the service center was closed in Des Moines on Saturday. It was a, a staffing issue directly related to weather. Uh, it will reopen again as normal on Monday. So I apologize for any inconvenience there. We tried to reach out to everybody that had something in the service center to make sure that they knew uh, no, no, not, don't, don't brave the weather. There's two kinds of people in the world when it storms like that. There's the people who stay home and there's the people who go out. <laughs> and if you were one of the people that there's nothing worse when you go out to find out that wherever you're going, they didn't go out. So we don't want that to happen. So if that happened to you, I apologize, but it was, uh, it was unavoidable. We did everything we could to get the staff in. Um, the res, the resis just didn't get plowed, uh, is what it amounted to. And they've got cars. So you know, young kids with cars, what are you doing living in Nebraska with a car? Oh, my goodness. But anyway, may, maybe it's good that they didn't go out and uh, endanger their lives to come to work to fix your computer, right? Yeah, everybody feels that way until it's their computer. All right. So uh, other locations in Lincoln, just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road is the longest serving service center, uh, the OG Schrock Innovations in Omaha, 168th and Burke across the street from the Village Point Mall. Also in Papillion, 84th and Highway 370 inside the Midlands Place Shopping Center, right across the street from like Cell Block C. Uh, the brand new jail they're putting up there. I mean, it, it was kind of creepy because they were putting it up like they had the walls marked. It was like C6, <laughs> C5. <laughs> so either they, it was an Ikea jail or, you know, it was the, the cell block five and cell block six. I don't I don't know. But anyway, it could have just been a numbering system. I don't know. But as you drive by, you try to figure these things out. Um, <laughs> so any service center is obviously able to help you. Uh, anytime you need it with whatever you need, either in person in the service center, over the Schrock desk, our online remote support connection utility, or even at your home or business, we'll come to you as well. A lot of people don't realize we do that, that we'll, you know, we'll come out to you, and sometimes we need to. Great example. You're trying to set up a printer on your wireless network, and you offer to bring the printer into our, our service center so we can set it up for you. We kind of need to be on your wireless network to do that. Um, so we have to be at your house. So a lot of people don't realize we do that. We also offer free pickup and free drop-off within a 30-mile radius of the service center. That's another one I'm kind of surprised a lot of people don't take advantage of, but uh, it is there if you need it. 888-250-2091 is the number to join us on the program today. Of course, if you ask a question or make a comment, we'll put you in the drawing for a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate, good for anything your heart desires over at the service center. All you have to do is give us a call uh, and, you know, if you have a question, I will guarantee you that everybody else listening has the same question. It's just they're not calling in. So you're actually helping a lot of people by calling in. Also, if you had an experience in the service center, good or bad, I do want to hear about it uh, so that, it, you know, if it's bad, obviously, you know, I don't you know, really I'm not excited to hear about it, you know, but <laughs> human nature. But if I don't hear about it, I can't fix it. And if it's good, I love to hear about that because when things go wrong, everybody says something. But when things go right, people tend to say, you know, that was good, and they kind of keep it to themselves. Um, one of the things that uh, that's an ongoing, I don't know, challenge or frustration, and I'm sure you've noticed this too. Everywhere you go, levels of service are in the toilet. Uh, my wife and I went to a movie last night, and uh, it was pretty slim pickings. I think we saw Kingsman. You know, <laughs> it was <laughs> my wife actually fell asleep during the movie. Um, but uh, anyway, I, th I thought it was a pretty de decent movie, but I mean, she's not exactly the target demo for Kingsman, I don't think. But, uh, you know, we went to see Kingsman. We went to the Alamo. And, you know, you know how at the Alamo, if you've ever been to an Alamo draft house, the way it works is you write your, your order on the card of what you want, like a little piece of paper, and you stick it 
in the in the tray, and they have you know people that that eyeball the the rows looking for upraised cards so that they can bring you what you want. We had an upraised card for like for a drink refill. It wasn't even like, hey, I want some uh, some mozzarella sticks or something. It was like, hey, I need a refill of this drink that you already sold me. And it's halfway through the movie, so any reasonable server would assume at this point that you might want to. There's only two groups of people in the theater. There's like four seats occupied in the theater. It would have taken a heartbeat, but they just don't have the people. And so you get frustrated because, you know, I had to get up in my own movie, go out into the hall, flag a server down, show, hand them the little piece of paper. I wrote my seat number on it, thinking ahead, using the big brain, um, and then, you know, went back to my movie. So I had to interrupt my movie to go get a drink refill, which, you know, five years ago, guys, if you wanted a drink refill, you got your butt up out of the seat. You walked down the long, long, long hallway all the way to the drink machine, and you filled your cup, right? So some of this is expectation. I mean, they're asking for a tip. I mean, I expect you to bring me a drink. You know, that's kind of like the exchange of goods and services here. So you get a little frustrated, but then you have situations like, um, you know, where you, where you realize as a business owner how, how challenging staffing is right now. And, you know, how many employees would I have? put on a theater with four people in it. You know, how many, you know, would I have that per, that server doing double time with another theater or maybe all the theaters? Probably. So service is definitely not what it used to be. My wife went over to uh, Party City to uh, start purchasing some party goods for my daughter's birthday coming up. And she noticed that uh, there was one employee in the entire store. And I'm not talking about one employee at the at the front counter checking people out. I'm talking there was nobody stocking shelves. There was nobody walking around doing anything. There was nobody answering phones. There was one employee in the entire store working the front counter. So some of this could be the, the Omicron thing where people are getting, you know, getting cold symptoms and staying home because they want to be make sure they're safe. You know, that could very well be it. But uh, overall, since the pandemic, I don't know if you've noticed this, but just levels of service are down. And that's something that we really try to guard against at Truck. We don't want that to slip. That's what makes us special. And, you know, the other day we were, we were saying, OK, so, you know, we, our labor costs are up. What are we going to do about this? One of the ideas that was floated in a manager's meeting is maybe we have an automated system answer the phone and then the customer can press a button to go to whatever service center they want to go to uh, would allow us to uh, to avoid having to answer the phone continuously and allow us to be more productive. You know, I pointed out that eventually the phone calls get to a human being anyway. Right. Unless your objective is to just lose these customers in a phone system somewhere, <laughs> which for some places that kind of feels like the objective. Eventually it's going to get to somebody. Well, we want it to get to a real person. And so why, why, why break the system? Let's have a real person answer the phone. And if that real person can help, you know, if it's a question about what time do you open or what time do you close or all those things that people want phone systems to answer now, is it really that much time? I mean, does it really happen that many times a day? And, you know, you realize then it's those little touches, those little extra things that really help uh, show that you're committed to service and support. So last week on the program when we were here, we talked about the value of service in the world uh, from the perspective of, you know, this is what it costs for us to deliver the service. Would you buy a computer from Schrock if I said you could save 100 bucks on it, but you got no service? You're walking to the pop machine and filling up your own pop. We had two people called in and said, no, I wouldn't buy the computer. I'm buying it for the service, which is exactly why in the manager's meeting, I'm like, no, we're still answering the phones the way we answer the phones. Um, we told you about how what Apple products might be uh, retired in 2022. Uh, we had actually calls in the service center, people concerned about that. That was pretty crazy. Uh, also, we talked about AMD's new laptop and desktop processors that are arriving later this year. And we mentioned that you need to update your Chrome browser uh, to patch 37 vulnerabilities last week. That is, unless you have Secure Updater, the program made by Schrock Innovations to install these updates for you within eight hours of release. If you have Secure Updater, you already have that Chrome update and you don't have to worry about it. Coming up on the program today, guys, um, I try not to do whole segments on viruses and malware, but viruses and malware are bigger, badder, and there's a lot of there's a lot of news this week. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that here in the first segment. Also, this is a question that we get all the time in the service centers regarding batteries in general. What's the best way to charge your iPhone? So this is an iPhone-specific segment. What is the best way to charge your iPhone? Somebody at ZDNet actually sat down and did a study on regarding battery wear. If you're trying to make your battery last as long as possible, not from a charge perspective, but in other words, not need to be replaced as quickly. What is the healthiest way to charge your iPhones? We're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, also, 
Is your name brand antivirus program actually installing crypto miners on your computer? The answer is yes. And we're going to tell you what software you should avoid if you don't want to have crypto miners installed on your computer. Also, finding in-stock computers right now is a real challenge. There's the service challenge we've talked about. Um, but I, I, I'm going to give you the weekly, the weekly stock report update from some of the largest, highest name recognition competitors in the market, uh, which would be Best Buy and in Nebraska, the Nebraska Furniture Mart. They also have a location in Iowa. Um, near the Des Moines Service Center, actually. But we're going to tell you exactly what you can find in stock at those stores that you could walk home with today compared to what you would find at a Schrock location. And I don't know when we became like the warehouse super seller, but apparently that's what's happened here. So <laughs> fun times, fun times. 888-250-2091. Okay, so I mentioned there's a lot of virus and malware news today. It started off pretty... Pretty easy. I, I noticed as I was scrolling through the news stories trying to see what we were going to talk about on the show, Maryland officials confirm ransomware attack shut down the Department of Health. Okay, I don't know that that's necessarily newsworthy here in Nebraska or in Iowa. You know, I just, you know, it's interesting, but it's not, you know, nothing, no one's going to, you know, get excited about that. Next story ransomware locks down a prison, knocks systems offline. Inmates were confined to their cells as a result of the cyber attack. That's kind of scary, right? That's in New Mexico, though. So, again, you know, interesting. Kind of one of those, like, you know, morning show. Did you hear about the prison where, like, they got hit by a ransomware attack and, like, all the inmates got locked down? You know, okay, next story. This one, Moscow court charges eight alleged R-Evil ransomware hackers. Now, we've had clients that were hit by R-Evil. Um, they were a ransomware group that would infect your computers and then demand a Bitcoin ransom to decrypt your files. A Moscow court has charged eight of them. And I thought, this is a good news story. This is like the, the, the good news, the, the bad guy finally gets caught in the end story, even in Moscow, right? Next up, White House confirms person behind colonial pipeline ransomware attack was nabbed during the Russian R-Evil raid. They've arrested 14 alleged individual group, uh, individuals from the group on Friday, and of the 14, one of them was the one responsible for the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack. Another good news story, right? This new malware, next story, this new malware wants to create backdoors to target Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Yes, Macs get infected. We had an epic battle with a Mac on our bench in the Papillion Service Center with some malware that just would not go away. Uh, we got it cleaned up, and the, the Mac is spinning like a top now. It's working great for, for our customer, but um, Macs need antivirus too. So all these stories are all security-related. They're all interesting in some small way, but when you take them and put them together as one unit, we are, what, halfway through January? This is what's happened in the first two weeks of January. So one of the things that I take away from this a lot of people, the, the, okay, number one, my computer doesn't need antivirus. I run Linux. I don't need antivirus. Well, then why are they making ransomware to attack Linux systems? Oh, I don't need antivirus. I run a Mac. Do you know that Mac users sell for about 75 cents a head on the black market compared to PC users, which are a third of a penny each? Why? Because once you infect a Mac user, they tend to stay infected because they, unless you do something dumb to let them know they're infected, like pop up a blonde guy with sunglasses, <laughs> the customer's like, this blonde guy with sunglasses keeps popping up on my screen and like asking me to buy something. And I, I went on the internet and I downloaded clean my Mac and I'm like, oh no. And yeah, so you put another infection on and uh, that seemed to clear it up. I don't know how exactly I got rid of that guy, but he's gone now. And it was like, oh boy. So unless they do something dumb like that to let you know your Mac is infected, you just think your Mac is running slow because it's getting old. You know, she was running Mojave, a few, few gens out of date on the uh, on the Apple OS there. You know, an older iMac, mid-2015 model. She probably just thought it was slowing down. In fact, she installed, she had 40 gigs of memory in the thing because she was trying to speed it up again. But it wasn't that at all. Um, so, and of course, we know PCs need antivirus. So everybody needs antivirus. And right here, the second defense that we see usually is, well, I don't have anything important on my computer worth attacking. No one is going to come after me because I don't have anything important. This is like a, I was in a, uh, in a 
personal security course, and they uh, they said, you know, if you're if you have a property and you put a bunch of cameras up around the property that are plainly visible, like security cameras, thieves will target the property because who installs security cameras to protect something that's not valuable? Okay, so I don't have anything valuable. I don't have any security cameras up around my property. There's no antivirus here, so why would anybody attack me? Well, they didn't attack the the Maryland Health Department, Department of Health, intentionally. They did not in- attack the prison intentionally. They certainly did not attack the Colonial Pipeline intentionally. I know there's a lot of people, oh, it's the Russians, and that's all coordinated with a master plan. Mwah-ah-ah-ah. You know, our evil, maybe they are doing the bidding of a government, I don't know, but our evil is in the business of infecting as many things as they can infect, and then the important ones will pay the ransom. The not important ones, the ones you hear about are the ones that pay the ransom. Um, you don't hear about dentist office that get hit with this. You don't hear about accountants that get hit by this stuff. You don't hear about attorney's offices that get hit by this stuff. You just hear about the big stuff, the colonial pipelines, the departments of health, the hospital systems, the prisons. You hear about that. You don't hear about the other stuff. They attack everybody. They are equal opportunity infectors. And when they attack, they don't know what they're attacking until they've actually penetrated your system. So having a good defense against this, keeping your Windows up to date, keeping your Windows version current, not running old versions of Windows like Windows 7 or Windows XP, those things are going to make a huge difference when you are working on keeping your computer safe. Now, of course, I would be remiss here if I did not mention to you that you really ought to be running some antivirus software, and that is, at Schrock Innovations, we have preferences. I'm going to delicately word this to avoid any uh, potential legal mud pits here. We have found in our experience that McAfee antivirus is not an effective antivirus tool for our customers. We have found in our experience that Norton 360 is not also known as Norton LifeLock, is not an effective antivirus tool for our customers. We have found that AVG, also known as Avast, is not a, an adequate defense. And, of course, Windows Defender was created, the stuff that comes with Windows. That was created to create a baseline saying you must at least do these minimum things or you can't call yourself an antivirus product. So, I mean, literally, it's like when I tell my son to take out the trash and He takes the trash to the curb, right? But he doesn't take the trash inside the house to the trash before he takes it to the curb. And he doesn't pick up all the stupid Amazon boxes and put them in the recycle bin before he takes that bin to the curb. So there's all this trash in the house, but the trash cans are on the curb. He did what I asked him to do, but he didn't actually accomplish the goal. The difference there. There is a difference. I had to explain that to this 15-year-old. So what I'm getting at here, guys, everybody needs security now. Everybody needs encryption now. If you're not using an encrypted text messaging app like Signal on your phone right now, I'm telling you right now, they are links are being filtered. Uh, their internet service providers or phone providers are actually filtering hyperlinks going between users. If you try to share a link to a news story, it doesn't go through. It just doesn't ever get sent or received. You see that it's sent. The person that was going to receive it never gets it. Um, you know, and it's it's dumb stuff. And everybody thinks it's not going to touch them or it's not going to impact them until it does one day. And so what I'm saying is change the base behavior that you have toward technology. Assume that being safe is better than not being safe, right? You lock your car. You lock your house. Why do you do those things? What are the odds in any given night if you leave your front door unlocked, some bad intruder dude is going to come into your front door? Not that great. There's not just not that many bad intruder dudes out there. I mean, maybe in some communities the the risk is greater than others, but not that great. You know, no one's rattling doorknobs down the street every night. So why do you lock your door? It's the same thing. You, you, maybe you don't think you need it. Maybe you think you're not doing anything important and nobody thinks they are until they get infected. And then they bring it into us and they say, why did this happen to me? I don't do anything on the internet. I just use it to get online and check email and pay a couple bills and install, like clean my Mac. Oh, well, there you go. That did it. Well, it popped up on the screen. I thought I was supposed to do it. Well, I understand that, but you weren't supposed to do that. So long story short, guys, assume a good security posture. Some quick hits for you before we take our break. Number one, things you don't normally think about. Make sure your router's firmware is up to date. 
the router has software that runs in it. The router is the, the box that has antennas. Now, if you have a, a router provided by your internet service provider, like if you have the Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi, you can't do anything about this. You're at Cox's mercy. Uh, so if your internet service provider provides you with your wireless router, there's nothing you can do. But if you have like a Linksys or an Asus or a, you know a Netgear or any of the other TP-Link, any of the other ones out there, please be sure that you update the firmware on your router. It's very important to close those security holes. Number two, every device on your network should have security if there is security available for it. So presently, we recommend Sophos Antivirus. If you ever forget what it's called, I, I can't remember what that antivirus he's talking about. Just think about, it's like a sofa. It's very relaxing. You just install it and you forget about it, right? You don't think about your sofa, you just sit on it. Same thing with Sophos. You install it on your computer and it just works. That's what we recommend. You can install it on your computer, your Mac, your Linux system, your iPhone, your Android, your iPad, your Samsung tablets, all of it. And it all needs it because the bad guys are coming in through all of those vectors now. Maintain a good security posture. I would recommend that you install um, a, uh, an app like Signal. Also, if you have a blended household, I'm going to give you a tip here. If you've got some Android users, some Apple users, you really wish you could FaceTime, Signal has a video call feature that allows you to do video calls regardless of what platform someone's using for a phone. Pretty neat, right? So anyway, make sure that you're taking your own personal security seriously because you don't get stories on ZDNet when your computer gets infected. But trust me, it happens every single day because we see it on our benches at Schrock Innovations. 888-250-2091. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, what is the best way to charge your iPhone? Is there a specific way? Do you do like a little kabuki dance when you go around it? Do you charge yours all night on the nightstand? Do you charge it with a battery throughout the day? Do you charge it all the time because iPhone's batteries are teeny weeny little receptacles of energy as compared to Android batteries anyway? They're also very sleek and small phones, though. We're going to tell you the best way to charge your iPhone battery coming up next on Compute This. Update all of your third-party apps on your computer with Secure Updater. It keeps all your apps running smoothly and helps block viruses. Download it for free today at secureupdater.com. External hard drives are handy. You can back up multiple computers to them or even use them to move lots of data from one computer to another. Computer users have been buying the same old external hard drives for years. While our computers have been getting faster, we still do backups that take hours or watch epic progress bars creep by to move files. Schrock wanted more for our customers, so our innovators created the fastest external hard drives on the planet. Schrock modular storage devices are up to 50% faster than Seagate or Western Digital Externals and are modular in the truest sense of the word. We can create whatever size and speed of drive you need for all of your needs and all modular storage devices come with a data restoration guarantee if you use our drives for backing up and your computer's hard drive fails we'll restore your backup to your repaired computer for free fast simple and flexible technology solutions from Schrock innovations it's what we do compute this pro tip number 753 have you ever wondered how the bad guys always seem to find a way into your computer Gone are the good old days of email worms and I love you viruses. Nobody wants to steal your data anymore, or in many cases, even your identity. Today's cyber criminals want to sell access to your computer or hold your data for ransom. The bad guys are exploiting zero day vulnerabilities to break into systems that are supposed to be hack proof. These vulnerabilities are always newly discovered and the criminals have a brief time to exploit them before they get patched. Antivirus and firewalls do not prevent these attacks, but you can minimize your computer's exposure by installing all security patches as quickly as possible. The average computer needs 12 patches a week. That's not including the ones that are automatically delivered to your computer. Boost your cybersecurity by staying on top of it manually or use a patch installation program like Secure Updater to get your computer the patches it needs. This pro tip is brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Alrighty, folks, welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Number to join us on the program. Ask a question, make a comment, be a part of the show. 888-250-2091. Paul, stay on the line there. We're going to grab your call in just a moment. But first, what is the best way to charge your iPhone? I found this article, and this guy says, I've changed the way I charge my phone, and you should too. He believes this method will result in less battery wear and tear and a longer battery lifespan. So here's what he does. 
He puts it on the charger for 30 to 45 minutes in the morning. Now, he's using a wired charger. A wireless charger takes a little longer. 30 to 45 minutes in the morning after he gets up. And then around mid-afternoon, he throws it on the charger for another 30 minutes or so, just enough to get it up to about an 80% charge is what he's saying. Uh, and that seems to be the, the gist of this, to keep it hovering around that 80% mark uh, without going to 100% and without going to zero, basically. Um, he believes that using that charging method will cause fewer charge-recharge cycles on the battery, less wear and tear on the lithium in the battery, which will make your Apple battery last longer. There was an article last week. We didn't cover it on the program because it was a little inside baseball. I didn't think it would be too interesting. But basically it said that the, uh, the Apple battery meter that tells you about your health in your iPhone is garbage. It doesn't actually reflect the true health of the battery um, and for a number of various technical reasons, and that's why we didn't cover it because it was way too much to explain. But it kind of jives with this. This guy is saying as a result of the, the information from that research – He's saying keeping your iPhone battery around 80% is ideal. I know that my wife cannot function without a backup battery throughout the day um, on her iPhone. because And she's not like one of those in her phone all day kind of people. It's just the, the batteries are small in iPhones. They really don't last a long time. So keeping it around 80% can be a challenge, but that's what this guy recommends. All right, let's jump into those phones real quick. Paul, thanks for joining us on the program. How can I help you uncompute this? Good morning, Thor. Morning. I have a question. I'm new to uh, doing any kind of um, system backup for my computer, Okay. but I have a two terabyte external solid state hard drive, and I I, I want to do the system image backup right. on my uh, for the and also want to do a a smaller just a recovery backup. Okay. Can I do both on the external hard drive, or do I have to just uh, use the uh, external hard drive for the larger system image backup. Oh, no, you can do both on that drive. I mean, I'm assuming that your your source drive is smaller than two terabytes, um, you know, so you'll have plenty oh, of yeah. room. Um, now, here's the challenge, though. There is no software in Windows currently that does a good image backup. There's the Windows 7 backup utility that's still kind of tagging along in Windows 10. Um, but the problem with that utility is is we've never been able to successfully restore a Windows 7 image backup of a Windows 10 computer. Um, it, it it's kind of challenging. Uh, so if you were going to create a full system image, do you have some software that you're going to be using to do that? Uh, no, I, I just do whatever the computer has. Gotcha. You know, so the computer, no software. Yeah, the computer is going to have a file history backup. But if you want a full image backup, the king of backup software for doing full images is, is a brand called Acronis, A-C-R-O-N-I-S. They're not a sponsor of the program. They just make darn good software. Uh, Acronis will be able, will number one, it'll allow you to make a backup. If you get the professional version, you can even use it to transfer your entire image from one computer to another. It's fabulous stuff. Um, but it's Acronis, I believe it's called True Image, Acronis True Image. Uh, and it runs on your computer, and you can actually create a scheduled image backup that runs on a schedule just like your regular backup. Uh, I believe the home version is only 30 or 40 bucks to buy. Um, it's very affordable, but it's something that I would recommend if you want to make an image backup. Otherwise, the file history backup is built in within Windows, and it'll work just fine for backing up your files. Okay, thank you. I'm new to this. I've never done this, so I just thought I'd check with you first. Hey, no sweat. If you have questions about this when you're getting it all set up, don't hesitate to give us a call in any of the service centers. This is the kind of stuff we help people with all the time. Appreciate your help. Thanks so much, Paul. All right. Hey, thank you, Paul. We appreciate it. We got you in the drawing for that $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. Number to join us on the program, just like Paul, is 888-250-2091. That's 888-250-2091. All right, we're going to take our bottom of the hour break here, guys. I left my coffee in the truck, so I'm going to disappear from the Facebook feed, and I'm going to reappear with a cup of coffee. I want you to do the same thing. Get your potty breaks in, get your coffee refilled, get donuts for Maggie, whatever you got to do. When you come back, is your antivirus software, your name brand antivirus software, so not like your Clean the Mac software, but your actual name brand antivirus installing crypto miners on your computer? Well, the answer is yes, and we're going to tell you who it is coming up next on Compute This. Now you can configure and purchase laptops, desktops, tablets, and more all at the new Innovations.com. Check out our specials for one-of-a-kind discounts and deals. 
Schrock Innovations has spent nearly two decades working to make your technology life easier. And the all-new SchrockInnovations.com is no exception. Now you can order new modular computers and solid-state laptops directly from our website, secure your computer with our virus-free guaranteed semantic endpoint software, find innovative new technologies like our modular storage devices, and get free help and tips. Take a look at the special section to find sales on one-of-a-kind items, display models, refurbished units, and our latest special offers. Swing by the Compute This page to watch TV segments and archived radio shows or even get one-on-one help through the Schrock Desk. As always, we respect your privacy so we secure our website with the latest encryption technology and only the most secure payment methods. You can pick up your purchases at any of our three service centers or have them shipped directly to your door. The new SchrockInnovations.com makes technology simple. It's what we do. And now compute this pro tip number 373. Everyone knows we're supposed to back up our computers and then check those backups periodically to make sure they're working. So why don't most people do it? Lots of people have different ideas about what backing up means. Is it copying files to a flash drive? Is it using a fancy backup program? And how do you know it's working anyway? Windows makes backups easy through free software that's already on your computer. Open your control panels and click Update and Security. Select Backup and choose from all of the available options to get a regular, reliable checkup. You'll need something to back up to, like a Schrock modular storage device or some other backup hard drive. Backups usually run once a week, but you can always change the frequency. The best part is that if your backup ever fails, you'll see a notification in the lower right corner by your clock telling you something's up. Backing up your important data has never been easier. So take a moment to back up your computer today. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. I'm Karen McHugh. An 11-hour hostage situation at a Colleyville, Texas synagogue is over. We're still learning details. Saying only that the hostage taker was killed by gunfire. It has not been made public if he killed himself or if he was killed by the tactical team. In fact, it's not even clear if his threat of having weapons was real. What is known is that all four of the hostages are free. One released early in the evening, the others freed by the tactical team. Fox's Mike Tobin. The FBI does say that the hostage taker's demands were not related to the Jewish community. Virginia's new Republican governor was sworn in Saturday. Glenn Youngkin all throughout the campaign had promised to get to work on day one and just hours after he was signed into office, he did just that. In his inauguration speech, he spoke with optimism once again, vowing to increase police funding and combat inflation through tax cuts. Fox's Alexandria Hoff. America is listening to Fox News. Now, the News Radio 1110 KFAB Weather Watch. A cold start this morning with temperatures near 10 and wind chills around zero. We'll see some clouds around to start the day. Sunshine this afternoon, highs around 36 degrees. Partly cloudy on Monday, a little more melting with highs near 35. Warmer on Tuesday, highs around 45. With Omaha's most accurate forecast, I'm 6 News First Alert meteorologist David Keller. All right, folks, thanks for sticking with us through the break there. We appreciate it. You're listening to Compute This, and my name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company with four locations to help you out when your computer is having problems, when your Wi-Fi is not Wi-Fiing, or your hard drive is not driving. Anything you need help with at Schrock that's computer-related, we can help you out with it. Uh, location in Des Moines, the newest one, West Des Moines, Iowa, 9500 University Avenue. Uh, then the Papillion Service Center is 84th and Highway 370 in Papillion in the uh, Midlands Place Shopping Center. In Omaha, 168th and Burke Street, just across the street from the Village Point Mall. And, of course, the OG Schrock Innovations in Lincoln, just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. We're there to help you out whatever you need, anything with your computers. We're open Monday through Saturday from 10 until 8, Sunday from noon to 5, except Des Moines. Uh, Des Moines is closed on Sunday, just like Chick-fil-A. Number to join us on the program is 888-250-2091. See, you only want the chicken sandwich on Sunday. Isn't that weird how it works? Like, you don't actually think that, you don't even know what day of the week it is. And you're like, you know, chicken sounds good. And you're like, oh, it's Sunday. Ah, oh, biscuits. All right, let's jump right into those phones. And thanks for staying on the line there. How can I help you today on Compute This? Well, I have Apple products. Mm-hmm. My husband has Android products. We were using, well, we're using ABG security and Cox were connected to cock. Sure. <laughs> it's not like we've got a lot of good things going there. <laughs> well, you know, uh, 
If you're using the, it depends. You can have Cox service. Like I have Cox service as well, um, but I don't use their router. I buy my own router because the router. We the paint, actually, I'm sorry. We might actually have. We might actually. He might actually have. Is a router one of those things you plug in? All the phone cord looking things into. He might actually have a router. Yeah, it's got I'll a, have to check. Yeah. So okay. I mean, if you have one, you can update it. Now, as far as, as AVG goes, you know. There are tons of different apps you can run on your phones for security. What AVG and most of the apps do for phone security is they will scan the applications that are being installed or updated on your phone, and they right. check to make sure that your phone's software is up to date. Um, but that's really the extent of what they're doing. They're, there's not an, an active monitoring or active um, threat analysis happening in real time. That's one of the big things. I didn't want to go too much and make it a big commercial uh, for Sophos in the previous segment. But one of the things that Sophos is that it does different is it's AI based, whereas every other antivirus product out there is using a definition set. And Sophos has a definition set, but they're using exclusively in the other ones a definition set that you know one person has to get hit and then everyone's inoculated against whatever it was that hit that one person. But just like we've seen with coronavirus, viruses mutate, except they do them, computer viruses mutate way faster like hourly and so you can you can get hit with something and get hit with the exact same infection an hour later through a different infection vector and your antivirus wouldn't be able to spot it either time and that's the problem with definition based security sophos has an ai component to it where if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck we're just going to set that off in the uh, duck holding area for now until we've determined whether it's a duck or not um and then we can move forward and, and you know take care of everything uh, real-time security uh, monitoring at Schrock as well. So we don't get to see what's on your device or what you're doing with your device. What we what we do see is this is the security status of your phone. You you need you have a, something that needs attention, and then we can try to take care of that remotely for you. And if we can't, we can call you and say, "Hey, you need to take care of this on your phone." Or the app will pop up in the notifications and say, "Hey, you need to take care of this on your phone." So there's a lot of really great ways that Sophos can improve your security situation um, over what you would get from an AVG. Or we used to recommend Lookout way back in the day when threats were not, not really a phone thing. Um, threats are very much a phone thing now. Uh, that's how Jeff Bezos' affair got exposed, by the way. It was uh, a Saudi prince invited him over for dinner, and while he was there, he used an Israeli hack to uh, hack his iPhone oh. and steal his pictures. It was a, cl a clickless hack. Jeff Bezos didn't have to do anything to his iPhone to get hacked. Those exist, and that's the kind of stuff that Sophos protects you against. So do you buy this product online, or what do you, like, like AVG? Well, I'm glad you asked, Ann. No. <laughs> no. In fact, where can I, I get this amazing product? Are you a plant? I don't know. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> no. You get, you get Sophos. You can buy Sophos yourself, obviously. Uh, you can go to the Sophos website and get it there, or you can get it from Schrock Innovations. Now, the, the main difference here is when you get it from Schrock Innovations, we have set up an entire ecosystem to keep you safe and to notify you when you're not safe. When you get it from Sophos, you are responsible for creating and maintaining your own ecosystem. You're basically Sophos is not intended to be um, a, a residential antivirus product. What we have done is we have taken a government level or you know Fortune 500 level antivirus product and configured it in a way to make it available for consumers. So we're giving you the best security available on your market on the market right now in a way that nobody else can do it. And so it's if you get it through Schrock, you can get it at schrockinnovations.com. Uh, you can call us in the service centers. We can a lot of times we can do it remotely for you. We just uh, send you a QR code in your email and you scan that, and then all of a sudden you're you're good to go. You got Sophos. Um, so it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty slick. The uh, renewal on those because each device is individual. We had a question on Facebook about this too from Aaron. Um, it is a per device charge as opposed to you know a lot of times with some of these other ones you get one. One license covers, you know, 77 computers in your household. Um, and I think everybody realizes that to get something that's good, you're going to pay to get something that's good. And because this is directly monitored by Schrock employees in our service centers, it is a per device charge because every device we add adds to the, the labor burden to monitor. Um, so it's $69 a year to renew it. Uh, so it's actually pretty affordable. I, I didn't realize this, but did you know? I know you don't use Norton 360 or Norton LifeLock. 
But do you know that your renewal price on the Norton LifeLock product goes up over time? It's in the fine print. The automatic renewal goes up to a ceiling of $250 for a five-computer license. Oh, my gosh. Over time. So, yeah, as longer you have it, the more they charge you. It's the, <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. But I was reading their terms of service here for this story coming up. But anyway, and did that answer your question today? Yes, I will talk to my husband about it because we both have items. Okay, thank you. Hey, thank you, Ann. I appreciate it. We'll get you all secured and safe. 888-250-2091. So we're talking a lot about antivirus today. and it, it, It's just fitting together for some reason naturally here. But... There is one particular antivirus that is confusing to a lot of our listeners specifically. Um, For many, many years, going back, I'd say for the first 10 years we were in business, first eight years, something like that, Schrock sold Norton 360. That was the recommended antivirus product. It was better than everything else. It had what was the the beginning nugget of AI detection, which was called Bloodhound technology back in the day, uh, where it would, would try to find files that looked like they were doing virusy things and then, you know, isolate those files or submit them for review, those kind of things. Well, Norton 360 was discontinued unceremoniously and changed into, or excuse me, yeah, Norton 360 became this Norton LifeLock monstrosity that we have today. Um, We, as you recall, when all the stuff changed over, um, when they got rid of Norton 360, we switched over to Semantic Endpoint because Semantic still had the best security software out there. We just had to get it through a different vector for our customers. That's where we started using corporate antivirus for consumers. Well, then they, they really just, they sold out. Um, they, they split up their company into multiple different divisions. Um, Broadcom got the, the corporate security software and all of the main security product. Norton LifeLock was a company that was spun up for the consumers and they dug up the 2015 Norton 360 and rebranded it to be the Norton LifeLock software. Well, they've, they have been working on modifying that software. And one of the modifications they made, if you open up your Norton LifeLock software, you will see that there is an option that you can click on to turn on the – it's uh, make, make money with your computer's downtime. And you can turn this on, and it will, uh, <laughs> it will use your computer to mine cryptocurrency when you're not using the computer. Additionally, uh, Norton will take a 15% cut of anything you mine. Uh, and then when you reach a certain threshold, when you mine a, a large enough sliver of Ethereum, then you can send it to Coinbase or whatever else you want to do with it there. Um, I'm just going to tell you right now that most, let's just say, let's just say that you were a gamer. And let's just say that you have the most powerful gaming graphics card on the market right now, the 3080 Ti. Let's just say because they're impossible to get. But let's say you do. And you use Norton software to mine Ethereum during downtime, right? Let's just say you don't use the computer for anything ever. It's mining Ethereum 24-7. You're going to mine roughly $250 a year of Ethereum. Not bad, right? You're paying for the Norton software, right? Except what most people don't take into account is computers don't run on unicorn farts. They run on power. And when you're mining crypto, you're using a lot of power. So when you're mining cryptocurrency with your computer and your 3080 Ti graphics card, you're burning $250 a month in power, or excuse me, a year in power. So your net result is zero, except you're you're actually losing money because Norton is taking a 15% cut of your $250 And then you can't move that out of your account until you have a large enough sliver, right? So maybe you mine for a year and your sliver is not large enough. And then you mine for another year and your sliver is not large enough. And finally, by year three, you can move your $250 out to Coinbase or or wherever you want to take it. I have a real problem with this, guys. This is antivirus products. For example, I can't put Sophos on a computer that I want to run a Bitcoin miner on. I can, we control the software and I go, Brian, I'm running a Bitcoin miner on this computer. I need, so I want to have Sophos on it. Please exempt this folder, this folder, this folder, this folder from all scans, everything else. He does it next day. They update the miner and Sophos detects it as a virus because 99% of crypto miners running on PCs are viruses because most people don't run crypto miners on PCs because it's unless you really, really know what you're doing, you're not going to make any money. 
So, and if you really, really know what you're doing, you probably aren't running Sophos on the computer because you know that's going to screw up your mining. So even, we can't even configure Sophos to let you have a miner on the computer. Whereas Norton is actually dropping a crypto miner in your Windows folder when you install Norton LifeLock. Now there is, to their credit, there's a switch. You have to turn it on. It's not enabled by default. But a lot of people are going to open up their Norton LifeLock software and they're going to look and say, oh, make money with my computer's free time? That sounds pretty cool. Check. Because they're not, they don't understand the details, the technical details of what they're ask, actually agreeing to. And as a result, your Norton LifeLock is actually going to, you're going to be paying more for Norton LifeLock than you pay now. And then when I was reading that, I'm like, this can't be true, right? So I'm reading through their terms of service. And sure enough, on the subscription side of things, do you know that when you, when you go to auto renew your Norton LifeLock, that the, the longer you keep the software, the more they charge you with a ceiling of $250 for a renewal? And, you know, we have customers who are like, well, I, you know, I have three devices and I don't know if having Sophos on three devices at $69.99 a year, that's less than Norton LifeLock is charging and the security is far superior. I don't know when Schrock Innovations became a low-cost leader. It, we're not supposed to be. Um, when I was back, back in my day, when I, when I went to college for seven years and didn't come out with any degrees but came out a lot smarter than I went in, which is kind of the point, I thought, but, you know. I'm six credits shy of like four different degrees. Someone's like, didn't you just finish one of them? I'm like, well, I wasn't going to waste my money. You know? <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't interested in those classes. But uh, you can't be a low-cost leader and a high-service provider at the same time. Walmart can't be a high-service provider. That's why they're having trouble competing with Amazon. Amazon is not a low-cost leader all the time. Anybody who thinks that Amazon always has the cheapest price on things, mm-mm. There are people who buy things at Walmart to resell them on Amazon. It's pretty crazy. So when you're making your security decisions for your computer, keep in mind that sometimes the most attractive options, you can protect 77 computers for the low, low price of $5 or make extra money with your computer's downtime from a company that before, back in the day, they would have, they would have slaughtered crypto miners just like Sophos does now. Because they're, they don't have a place on most people's computers. They're not supposed to be there. But yet here's Norton installing them on your computer because you trust Norton. And they're, and they're doing this to you. Um, so anyway, I, I saw this story and I thought, well, we have a whole virus-related show going in here. So I'm going to make sure that you understand the difference between commercial or consumer-grade antivirus and what you're getting for what you're paying. And the, the corporate-level protection you can have with Sophos from Schrock Innovations for about the same price. Hands down. It, it, it's better. It's just better. All right. We're going to take our final break here, guys. We, uh, we do have time for a couple more calls, though. 888-250-2091. When we come back, last week I mentioned that finding stock in laptops was a real challenge. And I, I kind of anecdotally said, hey, I tried to go to BestBuy.com and find, a, find what computers they had in stock. Well, I did it again this week. Except this week I saved my results. So you and I together are going to go shopping for a laptop. We're going to go to Best Buy and we're going to go to Nebraska Furniture Mart, the two largest places in the Omaha metro area to buy computers. Uh, Lincoln, Best Buy is, is best of Lincoln all, every year because of name recognition. Everybody knows if you want a computer, you go to Best Buy, right? And in Des Moines, they have a Mart, they have a Best Buy. You know, all the Office Maxes, stuff like that. You might buy it online. Maybe you go to Amazon. You know, we're not, we're not checking the online prices. I'm checking prices for computers that you can walk in the door, pick up in your hand, and take home today. And you're going to be shocked by what I found. Coming up next on Compute This. Today's fragile computers need maintenance more than ever. Your computer needs a maintenance checkup every six months to last beyond its 18-month expected lifespan. Some people like desktops for their power and upgradability, but nothing rivals a laptop for computing on the go. But why should you have to sacrifice performance for portability? The innovators at Schrock want our customers to have it all, so we created a new kind of laptop, the Solid State Laptop from Schrock Innovations. Solid State Laptops are built using the same frame and main boards as regular laptops, but we've removed half of the moving parts while more than doubling the computer's speed. The result? Laptops that boot to Windows in six seconds or less, respond instantly to your commands, and can survive drops that put most laptops into the data recovery lab. Starting at only $4.99, 
solid-state laptops give you speed, reliability, durability, and performance for the same price most people pay for a cheap disposable laptop. The next time you're looking for a laptop, check out the solid-state laptops at schrockinnovations.com or visit any of our service centers. Simple, solid, fast technology is what we do at Schrock. Compute this Pro Tip 299. There are enough mothballed computers in U.S. homes to give one to every man, woman, and child in the country. Many of these computers find their way into landfills where they can leak cadmium, lithium, and other nasty chemicals into the groundwater. Schrock Innovations is very proud of the fact that we recycle more e-waste every year than we create. You can drop off any old or broken computer equipment to our service centers at any time, free of cost. We only charge $15 just for monitors because they are especially difficult to process. No appointment is required, and we accept all computer-related equipment like printers, keyboards, speakers, and accessories. Additionally, the rare earth elements in computers can be recycled right here in the U.S. to reduce our reliance on supplies from foreign countries. Take a moment, drop off your old computer equipment today, and Schrock will make sure it's properly recycled and put to good use right here in the U.S. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. We were just lamenting the cost of salmon. <laughs> you know, Aaron posted on Facebook. We're live on Facebook.com slash Shrock Innovations. Aaron posted $69 is not pretty affordable to anybody on SSI. And, you know, I, I hear that. I, I do hear that. Um, what is affordable to somebody on SSI right now? Uh, my wife and I went to the grocery store the other day, and, you know, we had to buy some meat and some fish and, you know, healthy-ish food. You know, we weren't just buying Pringles and things, you know, <laughs> and uh, yeah, $180 later. And I'm just, I mean, you know, we, we carried the bags out. We didn't even need a cart. Remember when $180 was like groceries for a family of four for like a week, you know, yeah, two carts of groceries for $180. Yeah. We carried out the bags in our hands. It was just, yeah, it was crazy. So speaking of, of shopping and, and doing things, I went over and I said, okay, let, let's, you can follow along right now. You can go to bestbuy.com and do this with me. Let's go shopping for a laptop. All right, so we get to the laptop screen, and we're going to say we want same-day pickup. I want, an, I want something that I can pick up in Papillion or nearby stores, as I live in Papillion. So in Papillion or nearby stores. All right, so then now we're going to see what other restrictions do we want to put on here. Well, we want Windows. We don't want a Chromebook, so I'm going to click Windows. Got that one. Uh, we want new. I don't want any open box or refurb computers, so we're going to click that. Uh, yeah, and that's it. No other restrictions, right? So give, give me your results. Ba-boom. Five. Five results. It, of the results, there are one, two. Oh, that one's pick up tomorrow in Lincoln? Like tomorrow? Oh, they're not open yet. I guess tomorrow is still coming for them. Uh, one, two, three. There are four computers available in Lincoln. So Lincoln is doing pretty good. If you, you know, I call four computers pretty good. One of the computers is actually uh, the base model for our Intrepid, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Um, of course, it has the wrong kind of memory and the wrong kind of hard drive in it, uh, but we won't go down that road right now. Uh, we do a lot of things to our computers to make them faster and more reliable. Uh, but there are, there are, if you had to buy a laptop today in Lincoln at Best Buy, you would have a choice of four computers, an Asus, Two Asus's and a Lenovo and an HP. Or no, an Asus, a Lenovo, and a, yeah, no, I'm at it, right? Two Asus computers, a Lenovo and HP, that's four. Let's say you're in Omaha and you want to pick up one. So you want to pick up, well, there's one in West Omaha. There's one in East Omaha, which is the other Best Buy. There are two. There are two laptops in the city of Omaha at Best Buy that you can pick up. There were no price restrictions here, guys. This is at any price. That's what's in stock right now. So let's go take a look at Nebraska Furniture Mart because Nebraska Furniture Mart has lots of computers. Did they reset? Oh, those biscuits. They, I had it all open and ready to go, and they, uh, they refreshed the page apparently at some point and took it back to the home page. So we're going to do this again. We're going to go to computers, laptop computers. All right. We're going to say in stock. That's 32 total compute laptops in stock supposedly. We'll get to that in a second. Um, let's see. What, what do we want to say? We want to make sure it's a Windows computer because we don't want any Chromebooks. So operating system, Windows, that'll take us down to 28 computers. And let me see. System memory, primary use, screen type, 
Yeah. Hard drive capacity, color, screen size. Should we restrict to 15 inches? Is that going to really... It takes us only to 17, so that's not bad. Okay, let's see what we've got here. We're gonna, we have 17 total results, and we are going to sort them by price, lowest to highest. <clears throat> in stock, we have one Asus, the same Asus that was in stock at Best Buy. Um, now, this is hilarious because I, I, I clicked in stock. You heard me click it. Same day shipping while stock lasts is my search results. So these ones that are supposedly in stock are actually not in stock. They have to ship. So that one is dead, and that one is dead, and that one is dead. And here we have an HP. And now we're over $700 with the next HP. So we had three computers at $700 or less. After that, we have one, two, three computers in stock. So doing a little bit better over at the Mart with six computers in stock that you could walk out the door with. But with that kind of selection, guys... And I'm, 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 not, I'm not restricting it by price. I'm not saying under $1,000 because that's what we were doing before. But people have actually started buying the gaming computers now because they're worried that the gaming computers that are $1,000 today are going to be $1,500 next month. So if they need a computer, they better pony up and buy that one. Meanwhile, at Schrock Innovations, we have a surprisingly stable supply of laptops. Each service center carries two of each of our lap three laptops. So there are six in-stock laptops in each service center. The Papillion Service Center carries a little bit more because that's where we, we replenish from. Uh, so the, the Papillion Service Center carries nine in-stock. We have an extra of each one. Um, and then we always have some on the way. Um, so, yeah, guys, I'm just telling you right now, like, this is going to get worse. There are more port cities in China that have shut down. Um, there's a lot of ships offshore, though, so... <laughs> You know, we're going to empty those first. We'll, we'll live off those ships for a while. Uh, but, I mean, China's really locking things down because they want things to be cleaned up by the Olympics, and they're going to do whatever they can do to make that happen. Um, so if you have the opportunity to go out and get what you need to get now, I would get what you need to get now. I don't think there's going to be a better time to do it. And if you're looking for a new computer, Schrock Innovations is definitely the place for you to come grab one if you want to take one, whether it's a laptop or a desktop home in stock in the service center right now we can even customize them for you to meet your individualized needs if that's what you need us to do today's winner of the 25 dollars schrock innovations gift certificate is paul congratulations paul will get a hold of you to get your address and everything and get that credit added to the system for you there schrock innovations uh, meanwhile stay tuned to facebook.com slash schrock innovations for the after schrock coming up next we'll tell you about the upcoming bnsf strike yeah i slipped that in from the Amish Furniture of Nebraska Studio, your home for made-in-the-USA furniture. This is News Radio 1110.